kangaroo, the grassland boxer and the magical pouch. Amid winds sweeping across the scorched brown grasslands, where the blazing sun hangs overhead like a sacred flame, a lone creature bounds gracefully across the dusty ground. Each leap is firm yet weightless, as though its legs are coiled springs forged by the earth itself. This is no ordinary animal. This is the kangaroo, a creature that knows no retreat, a natural-born warrior of the Australian outback. Long heralded as a national symbol, the kangaroo appears on coats of arms, currency, and more importantly, in the hearts of Australians. But beyond that playful hop and iconic pouch lies an extraordinary tale. One of evolution, survival, and a motherly love housed within a simple pouch. The kangaroo is not a single species, but a family of over 60 types of marsupials, ranging from rabbit-sized wallabies to towering red kangaroos, which can grow up to 2 meters tall and weigh nearly 90 kilograms. They belong to the order Macropodiforms, literally meaning large-footed and indeed. Their powerful hind legs are their defining feature. With specially structured hips, massive thigh muscles, and mighty Achilles tendons, kangaroos can leap 8 to 9 meters in a single bound and reach sprinting speeds up to 70 kilometers per hour, 43 miles per hour. Fascinatingly, kangaroos cannot walk like other quadrupeds. In fact, they cannot move backwards. Their large tails and pelvis structure simply don't allow it. This very trait is why kangaroos, along with the emu, another forward-only animal, were chosen as national emblems of Australia, a nation that moves ever forward, never in reverse. The kangaroo is not only a master of jumping, it is a marvel of biological engineering. Each jump is not just powerful but energy efficient. Their muscles and tendons work like natural springs, absorbing and releasing energy with each leap. This mechanism allows them to travel long distances without burning excessive calories. A critical advantage in the harsh, arid interior of Australia, and that massive tail? It's not dead weight. It acts as a fifth limb when walking, a seat when resting, a weapon in combat, and a rudder when leaping through the air. Their ears rotate independently, picking up sounds like a radar. Their large eyes provide nearly 300 degrees of peripheral vision, allowing them to scan for predators without turning their heads. Kangaroos are social animals, living in groups called mobs, which range from a few individuals to dozens. Each mob is typically led by a dominant male, a protector and contender. They are most active at dawn and dusk, avoiding the extreme midday heat. During the day, kangaroos rest under trees or shrubs and conserve water with remarkable efficiency. They can go for days without drinking, drawing moisture from vegetation and relying on a finely tuned digestive system. As herbivores, kangaroos feed primarily on grass. Their multi-chambered stomachs and symbiotic bacteria ferment tough cellulose fibers, much like ruminants helping them extract maximum nutrients from otherwise indigestible plants. When temperatures soar, they even lick their forearms, letting saliva evaporate to cool the blood flowing through their limbs, a natural biological air conditioning system. Life on the grasslands isn't always peaceful. Among adult males, especially red kangaroos, fierce battles break out for mating rights. These showdowns resemble a boxing match. A kangaroo will prop itself up with its tail, strike with its forearms, push, grapple, and ultimately unleash a devastating double kick with its hind legs. A well-placed kick can fracture bones even kill. Yet these battles rarely go to such extremes. They're about dominance, not destruction and typically end when one male concedes, allowing the victor to mate and lead. While bigger males often win, 
younger rivals can still triumph with speed, cunning, and stamina. In this world, strength alone isn't everything tactics and timing matter too. But what makes kangaroos truly unique? The answer lies in the pouch of the female. Pregnancy lasts just 30 to 35 days. The newborn called a joey is born blind, hairless, barely the size of a jelly bean, and weighing just a few grams. And yet, with no help, it crawls its way to the pouch, finds a nipple, and latches on. Inside this dark, warm, sterile, stretchable pouch, it continues to grow for six to eight months. Then it begins peeking out, exploring, taking first hops, always returning to the pouch like it's home. Even more remarkable, a kangaroo mother can carry three offspring at once one in the womb, one nursing inside the pouch, and another out in the world but still returning to nurse. And if times are hard, like during drought, she can pause embryonic development through a phenomenon called embryonic diapause, waiting for conditions to improve. A miraculous system of life, born of nature's genius. Despite being a national icon, kangaroos are far from safe. Every year, up to one million kangaroos are killed, due to vehicle collisions, population control, or legal hunting. Some see them as pests, competing with livestock for food. Deforestation, climate change, and urban sprawl are rapidly shrinking their habitats. In some areas, kangaroos wander into suburbs, often struck by cars or viewed as nuisances. As the line between conservation and development blurs, kangaroos are forced to adapt, but the question is, can they adapt fast enough? Kangaroos are not just wild animals. They are cultural icons. They appear in aboriginal dreamtime legends, in cartoons, on sports team logos, and in the collective spirit of Australia. But if we only see the cute bounces and overlook the dangers they face, we may one day witness a silence where their rhythmic thumping once echoed. The kangaroo. This strange creature with a pouch cannot walk backward and perhaps doesn't want to. In its world, everything moves forward, its leaps, its birth cycle, its evolutionary story, and its symbol. It is a fighter, a mother, a symbol, proof that nature crafts its greatest marvels from the most peculiar molds. And perhaps, a quiet reminder to us all, that even the strong, the resilient, the iconic, need protection too. Because if we lose them, we lose a living, leaping part of the wild, untamed beauty of this earth.